Hi, it's Lou from Christian Faith and Fiction. Today we are going to go through some Christian fiction books that I could find that are releasing in April 2024. These are the books that I could find. If you know of any more, please do leave them in the comments of the video or of the blog post. And if you're listening on the podcast, that should be uh, a link to that in the description. I have separated these out into different genres um, but I haven't read any of these books so that's just a disclaimer. I don't know how much Christian faith content there is in these books nor do I know if there's anything that might be I might consider problematic. So let's start with Mystery and Suspense. Night Falls on Predicament Avenue by Jamie Jo Wright releases on the 9th of April and is published by Bethany House. In 1910, Effie James is living a dream for two. Her younger sister is harbouring a secret that has left timid Effie determined to fulfil her daring sister's grand plan of seeking out adventure in their small Iowa town. When a British gentleman arrives, disrupting their peace with efforts to find the wife many claim lived her final days at the now-abandoned house at 322 Predicament Avenue, Effie is thrust into intrigue she couldn't have prepared for, but what she finds inside will forever link her to the scandal staining the house's walls and to a woman whose secrets promise a curse. A century later, Nora Richmond is living out her late twin stream of running their great aunt's bed and breakfast on Predicament Avenue, a place Nora believes nothing good can come out of after her sister's abduction and murder 13 years ago. Her first guest is a crime historian and podcaster, and Nora resolves to stay far away from the charming and enigmatic man until another guest is found dead. As they dig deeper, something sinister unfurls that will reveal an ominous unknown far greater than the possibility of death itself. Fatal Domain by Stephen James is book two in the Travis Brock thrillers, and that releases on the 9th of April and is published by Tyndale House. When the past scratches its way into the present, it can leave deep scars. A series of cryptic clues leads the Department of Defence redactor Travis Brock to suspect that a grim chapter of his, from his past is not yet over. With the help of his eidetic memory and his newly formed team, he must unearth the truth and stop a terrorist group from stealing one of the military's most highly, re highly guarded technological breakthroughs. With it, the group commit a daring act of espionage that could upend the work of one of the world's largest pharmaceutical firms and impact millions of people worldwide. In a high-stakes story of action and intrigue that reaches from a refugee settlement in Uganda to the shores of the Potomac in Washington, D.C., shattering secrets from the past will be revealed, loyalties tested and intimate betrayals brought to light as Brock is forced to decide how to forgive what he cannot forget. The Vanished by Cara Putman releases on the 16th of April and is published by Craigle. Janai Simmons left the small town of Kedgwick, Virginia, ten years ago to pursue her legal career and never look back, until a professional mistake leads her to her grandmother's historic carriage house and to the town where her past threatens to find her. The quiet streets echo with her grandfather's sterling reputation, one that conflicts with fresh questions that claw at Janai launching her on a reluctant journey to unearth his secrets. When her new job at a local law firm doesn't live up to expectations, she wonders if coming home was the right decision. Carter Montgomery starts his art preservation career with the only job he can get, director at the Elliott Museum of Art. At least Kedgwick is nice enough town to provide him and his nephew with a safe place to grieve the loss of Carter's sister. But Carter's calm days disappear when an elderly woman claims two paintings in the museum's collection were stolen from her family during World War II. Carter enlists Janai's help to unravel the legal labyrinth of art ownership and the peaceful facade of Kedgwick morphs into a hotbed of secrets. When an attorney turns up dead and Janai uncovers another painting, what began as a simple legal issue spirals into a race against time. As the web of intrigue tightens, the duo must confront a looming question. What dark truths lie beneath the surface waiting to be exposed? Yukon Wilderness Evidence by Darlene L. Turner is book five in the Crisis Rescue Team series 
and it releases on the 23rd of April and is published by Love Inspired Suspense. Solving a cold case could rob her of her future. When skeletal remains are uncovered in the Yukon forest, forensic botanist Keely Ash is called to the crime scene and ends up abducted. She never expected her ex, paramedic Brett Ryerson, to come to her rescue or her gathered evidence to be linked to a cold case. And when their son, who Brett never knew existed, is kidnapped, they'll stop at nothing to save him and outrun the hunters determined to silence Keeley. Hidden in the Canyon by Jodie Bailey releases on the 23rd of April and is published by Love Inspired Suspense. An attempted abduction, a shocking murder and a suspect list growing longer. After Angie Garcia is attacked on her ranch near the Grand Canyon, uncovering the culprit becomes her biggest challenge and she'll have to work with the last man she wants to see, Special Agent Lincoln Tucker, to investigate potential suspects but with attacks escalating and a ranch hand missing, can they dig up the truth that links Angie to a perilous secret and a ruthless killer before it's too late? Cold Case Tracker by Maggie K. Black releases on the 23rd of April and is published by Love Inspired Suspense. A missing sibling, a targeted witness, a canine on the case. Canine officer Jackson Locke's sister has vanished and the key to finding her lies with Amy Scout, his sister's best friend and his old crush. But when Amy comes under attack, two things become clear. Jackson's sister has been investigating cold cases and someone wants Amy dead. Now he must untangle the mystery between the cold cases and his sister's disappearance while guarding Amy from an enemy willing to kill to hide the truth. Uncovering Colorado Secrets by Rhonda Starnes releases on the 23rd of April and is published by Love Inspired Suspense. Getting to the truth could be deadly. With her sister and brother-in-law murdered, it's up to bodyguard Adeline Scott to keep her twin nephews safe from a killer's crosshairs. So when an intruder breaks into their home and threatens them, she turns to her security expert boss, Link Jameson, for help. But will they track down the answers to what really happened before a killer strikes again? Her Duty Bound Defender by Shari Stover is book two in the Mountain Country K9 Unit series and it releases on the 23rd of April and is published by Love Inspired Suspense. Threatened and falsely accused, she'll need this canine's protection. Only seconds after widowed mother-to-be Naomi Carr Cavana is rescued from two masked gunmen, she's accused of multiple murders. Detective Bennett Ford believes he's finally apprehended the Rocky Mountain killer until Naomi is attacked again. Now she must rely on Bennett and his canine partner for protection, but with threats closing in, she'll have to prove her innocence first in order to stay alive. The Garden Girls by Jessica R. Patch releases on the 23rd of April and is published by Love Inspired Trade. On a remote Outer Banks island, a serial killer collects his prized specimens, and to stop him, an FBI agent must confront his own twisted past. FBI agent Tiberius Granger has seen his share of darkness, but a new case sets him on edge. It's not just the macabre way both victims, found posed in front of lighthouses, are tattooed with flowers that match their names. There's also the unsettling connection to the woman Ty once loved and to the shadowy cult they both risked risked everything to escape. Bexley Hemingway's sister has gone missing, and she'll do anything to find her, including teaming up with Ty, That may prove a mistake, and not just because Ty doesn't know he's the father of her teenage son. It seems the killer is taunting Ty, drawing everyone close to him into deeper danger. As the slashing winds and rain of a deadly hurricane approach the coast of North Carolina, the search leads Ty and Bex to an island that hides a grisly secret. But in his quest for truth, Ty has ignored the fact that this time he's not just the hunter, Every move has been orchestrated by a killer into a perfect storm of terror, and they will need all their skills to survive. In historical fiction, The Sleuth of Blackfriars Lane by Michelle Greep releases on the 1st of April and is published by Barber Fiction. I think this might be the third book in that series. Wife, mother, homemaker, detective, Kit Forge wears many hats, and if that's not enough, she's partnered with her father to open a new detective agency. It's hard to be all things to all people, but Kit never shies away from the impossible. 
Despite her hard work and good intentions, some things fall through the cracks, namely her husband, but Jackson barely notices. He's too busy putting out his own fires. As the new chief inspector of a busy London station, he must salvage the disaster left behind by the former police chief, an obstacle made all the harder when the superintendent breathes an ultimatum down his neck. Against his father's advice, Kit takes on a case involving a missing child, one in which she and Jackson become a little too emotionally involved and end up endangering their own little girl in the process. Can Kit and Jackson learn that just because they say yes doesn't mean they should? These Tangled Threads by Sarah Loudon Thomas, released on the 2nd of April and is published by Bethany House. Seven years ago, a hidden betrayal scattered three young friends living in the shadow of Biltmore Estate. Now when Biltmore Industries' master weaver Lorna Blankenship is commissioned to create an original design for Cornelia Vanderbilt's 1924 wedding, she panics, knowing she doesn't have the creativity needed. But there's an elusive artisan in the Blue Ridge Mountains who could save her, if only she could find her. To track the mysterious weaver down, Lorna sees no other way but to seek out the relationship she abandoned in shame. As she pulls at each tangled thread from her old life, Lorna is forced to confront the wounds and regrets of long ago. She'll have to risk the job that shapes her identity, as well as the hope of friendship and love restored. The Elusive Truth of Lily Temple by Joanna Davidson Politano releases on the 9th of April and is published by Ravel. Peter Driscoll, an underground investigator to the wealthy, has never met anyone like Lily Temple. The beautiful silent film actress spins fairy tales and plays frivolous roles in front of the cine camera, but beneath the costumes and stage makeup is a woman with a quick wit and a murky past. Peter has been tasked with locating the legendary Briarwood teardrop, an exquisite sapphire which Lily wears beneath her gown. In order to stay close to her and hopefully unravel the mystery of her story and the sapphire, Peter employs Lily's help on a case which leads to a useful partnership. But as they are investigating together, Peter is also investigating Lily. The closer he gets to the truth, the more danger they face. And the closer he gets to Lily, the clearer it is that he needs her even more than she needs him. The Songbird of Hope Hill by Kim Vogel Sawyer releases on the 9th of April and is published by Waterbrook. Birdie Clarkson only recently started working at Lyda's Palace, a house of ill repute at the edge of Tulsi, Texas. Abandoned and penniless, she turned to someone she thought was a friend, but instead it turned out to be a nightmare. She wants to leave, but doesn't know how. And how will she ever feel clean again? When Reverend Isaiah Overly and his son, Ephraim, arrive offering a safe haven and better life for any of the women who want to leave, Birdie takes a chance, ignoring the madam's furious ragings, she climbs into the back of the preacher's wagon. The Reverend and his wife Ophelia welcome Birdie to Hope Hill, which they founded as a haven to teach women how to read and write, how to keep a house and other skills necessary to ensure their future will be brighter than their past. Hesitant at first, Birdie soon joins the preacher at revival meetings and becomes part of the chorus, singing alongside Ephraim. Reverend Overly's ministry is built on the premise that none are irredeemable. When romance develops between Ephraim and Birdie, will Ephraim be able to convince Birdie that God's reputation wipes the soul clean, or will she feel forever smeared? The British Booksellers by Christy Cambron releases on the 9th of April and is published by Thomas Nelson. A tenant farmer's son had no business daring to dream of a future with an earl's daughter but that couldn't keep Amos Darby from his secret friendship with Charlotte Terrington until the reality of the Great War sobered youthful dreams. Now decades later he bears the brutal scars of battles fought in the trenches and their futures that were stolen away. His return home doesn't come with tender reunions, but with the hollow fulfilment of opening a bookshop on his own and retreating as a recluse within its walls. When the future Earl of Carcourt chose Charlotte to be his wife, she knew she was destined for a loveless match. Though her heart had chosen another long ago, she pledges her future even as her husband goes to war. Twenty-five years later, 
Charlotte remains a war widow who divides her days between her late husband's declining estate and operating a quaint Coventry bookshop, Eden Books, lovingly named after her grown daughter, and Amos is nothing more than the rival bookseller across the lane. As war with Hitler looms, Eden is determined to preserve her father's legacy, so when an American solicitor arrives threatening a lawsuit that could destroy everything they've worked so hard to preserve, mother and daughter prepare to fight back. But with devastation wrought by the Luftwaffe's local blitz, terrorising the skies, battling bookshops and lost loves, Amos and Charlotte must put aside their differences and fight together to help Coventry to survive. From deep in the trenches of the Great War to the storied English countryside and the devastating Coventry Blitz of World War II, the British booksellers explores the unbreakable bonds that unite us through love, loss and the enduring solace that can be found between the pages of a book. Walking on Hidden Wings by Rachel Scott McDaniel releases on the 23rd of April and is published by Craigle Publications. Geneva Ashcroft Hayes' marriage to a newspaper mogul might have been arranged, but the New York socialite is devastated when her husband's plane crashes a few short months after their nuptials. When the authorities suspect murder, Geneva sets out on a wild mission to find his killer and to prove it wasn't her. Where mysterious notes surface threatening to expose Geneva's guilt in his death, they only strengthen her resolve. She has little to go on except for a detective friend's cryptic list of locations connected to her dead spouse. When their friend also disappears, she trades her sparkling gowns for coveralls and pilot goggles. Armed with a new name and career as a wing walker and barnstormer, she travels from town to town in hopes of unearthing clues and locating her missing friend. But Geneva discovers that her past may not be belong to her. What she once believed is true may be nothing more than lies and deception. We're going to move on to contemporary romance now. If you're new to this channel, then um, welcome. Please do consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos like this one. So in Romance, Love in Tandem by Becca Kinzer releases on the 2nd of April and is published by Tyndale House. She's perfectly content leading a quiet life in her small hometown. He's an adventurer with unquenchable wanderlust. The two couldn't be any more opposite if they tried but a tandem bicycle and a 500 mile road trip just might change all that. After a failed engagement and a mother's battle with cancer, Charlotte Carter's life is finally turning around now that she's landed a dream job teaching music. What she didn't see coming was the imminent closure of the school's music programme. She's determined to save it, even if it means getting creative. There's no way she's chalking this up as just another failure in her book of recent embarrassments. Zach Bryant is back in town just long enough to see his brother Ben get married and then he's off travelling the world again. He never imagined he'd run into Charlotte Carter, his brother's ex fiance or that everyone would believe he and Charlotte are an item. He certainly didn't dream he'd end up riding a tandem bicycle hundreds of miles with her in an attempt to raise funds for her defunct music programme. But how can he say no when the prize money could help him out of his financial predicament too? Charlotte is sure she can set aside her differences with Zach long enough to cross the finish line and win the giant cash prize, can't she? A few hundred miles in, she's questioning her deeply held assumptions about Zach and wondering if maybe tandem biking is only the start of their biggest adventure yet. Sandcastle Inn by Irene Hannon is book 10 in the series Hope of Harbour and it releases on the 2nd of April and it's published by Ravel. Vienna Price never intended to return for more than a passing visit to Oregon and all the bad memories she'd left behind. But when your career tanks, home is where you go to nurse your wounds and chart a new course. Only temporarily, of course, because as much as she loves her quirky mum, anything more than a short stay would drive them both crazy. A trip to Oregon isn't in Matt Quinn's plans either until a perfectly timed appeal for help arrives from his sister, what better place to decompress after a shattering loss than the quiet seaside town named Hope Harbour? But R&R isn't on the agenda when he arrives to find his sister's new enterprise on life support. Vienna, however, may have just the skills needed to resuscitate the foundering B&B if Matt can convince her to hang around long enough to mend an inn and his heart. 
A Secret Between Them by Donna Gartshaw releases on the 23rd of April and is published by Love Inspired. She'll help him heal, but is love enough to make him stay? Unexpectedly injured, photojournalist John Bishop finds himself stuck in a town full of painful memories, with physical therapist Grace Severite is his only way out. Following her treatment should be simple, but soon John's falling again, this time for the single foster mum and her four-year-old charge. Now love might heal his past, but will a secret Grace's keeping destroy their chance at a future? A Cowgirl's Homecoming by Julia Ruth is Four Sisters Ranch Book One, and it releases on the 23rd of April and is published by Love Inspired. There's something missing in her life, and it's shaped like home. It's been three years since Jen Spencer left Four Sisters Ranch after burying her husband, her heart and her relationship with her family. Now the farm's in trouble and she's back to help. Reconnecting with her family is hard, yet her new landlord, Luke Bennett, and his adorable niece brighten her days, but when she discovers Luke's secret, will it crush her healing heart again? A Mother's Gift by Lee Tobin McLean and Catherine Springer releases on the 23rd of April and is published by Love Inspired. These are two novellas about Mother's Day. Friendship could blossom into more in Lee Tobin McLean's A Mother for His Child when single dad Blake Evans' six-year-old daughter announces she wants her babysitter Zoe Gray to be her new mummy and in Catherine Springer's The Mummy List A little girl plays matchmaker between her dad, Gage Lawrence, and their next-door neighbour, Megan Albright, but are they ready to take that leap? Safe Haven Ranch by Louise M. Gouge releases on the 23rd of April and is published by Love Inspired. Can two little children help turn a feud into a family? It should be easy for widow Olivia Ortiz to despise Will Matson, the man keeping her from buying the ranch land she needs for herself and her daughter, Emily. But when Emily becomes instant friends with Will's nephew, Jemmy, Olivia and Will find themselves growing closer as well. And as Olivia's feelings for the handsome cowboy shift, competing for the property could be the start of something more. And The Roads We Follow by Nicole Deese is a Fog Harbour romance and is releasing on the 30th of April, and it's published by Bethany House. As the youngest daughter of a country music legend, Reagan Farrow longs to establish an identity away from the spotlight and publish her small-town romances under a pen name. But after her dream is dashed when she won't exploit her mother's fame to further her own career, she hears a rumour from a reliable source regarding a tell-all being written about the Farrow family. Making matters worse, the unknown author has gone to great lengths to remain anonymous until publication. Reagan chooses to keep the tell-all a secret from her scandal-leary sisters as they embark on a two-week cross-country road trip at their mother's request and make it, makes it her mission to expose the identity of the author behind the unsanctioned biography. But all is complicated when she discovers their hired bus driver, Micah Davenport, has a hidden agenda of his own, one involving both their mothers and an old box of journals. As they rely on each other to find the answers they seek, the surprising revelations they unearth will steer them towards their undeniable connection and may even lead them down the most unexpected of paths. In Fantasy and Sci-Fi, The Chaos Grid by Lindsay Llewellyn releases on the 9th of April and is published by Enclave Escape. Cross the grid, survive the storms, let your destiny burn. When mankind's attempts to control nature backfire, Texas descends into a wasteland. Storms rage and ravenous beasts roam the outer grid. The only safe havens rest inside the tech-obsessed dome cities. But when her parents are murdered inside the Plex City Dome, 17-year-old Juniper Conway wants revenge. Ties to her extended family threaten to pull her back as she runs from city to city. The Plex is endangering its citizens by legalising a deadly nanodrug and Juniper's family needs her help to deliver the counter-agent. Saving the city who orphaned her goes against everything she stands for. The only way out is to brave the wasteland. Juniper joins a shipping crew fearless enough to transport food across the outer grid, but when a string of bad luck turns lethal, she fears something or someone is dragging her back to the plex. 
As her world sinks into chaos, Juniper must decide if revenge is worth the lives of the crew she ca has come to love. And Lion Warrior by James R. Hannibal is Light Raider Academy Book 3 and it releases on the 23rd of April and is published by Enclave Escape. This is a sequential series and this is book three, so I'm going to read the description of book one, which is Wolf Soldier. The fate of the Dragonlands are at play. The Knights of the Light Raider Order disappeared nearly two generations past. Now the Keladin have withdrawn behind their barriers and the Dragonlands of bordering Tanalethar are overrun with dark oppression. The people are living in disobedience to the rescuer who freed them long ago. A shepherd boy, Connor Enarian, and four young initiates rekindle the fires of the Light Raider Order in the hope of striking out across the mountains into the Tanalethar to destroy a portal and stop an impending invasion. Once in the Dragonlands, Connor learns that the key to success lies with a missing Light Raider spy and his lifelong companion, a talking silver wolf. Can Connor and his friends find the spy before the portal grows too large to destroy? Or will a local young woman or Connor's own family history betray them? The dangers and secrets of Tana Lathar test both trust and loyalty, and to save his homeland, Connor may have to sacrifice his innermost dreams. So those are the books that I found that are releasing in April that are listed as Christian fiction. If you know of any more, please do add them in the comments. Also, let me know which of those books are ones that you would like to read. I hope you are all having a fantastic week and enjoying your reading. I pray that God blesses you and your family this week. And until next time, 